Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today. If you have been on my channel for a while, you already know the drill of what we're doing today. I have been growing out my roots for, oh, maybe like four months now and I'm finally going to take care of them and add like some color, a new color, new-ish color to my hair. But today I'm going to be bleaching and dyeing my hair Obviously, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be trying the new bleach kit. Well, it's not new, but it's reformulated now to be vegan. It's the Good Dye Young Hair Lightening Kit, and this is my first time using it. I did have a couple of these sent to me when they weren't vegan. I haven't used those ones, obviously, because they're not vegan, but I'm going to be trying this out today, and I'm really stoked that their hair dye kit is now vegan, and there are more options on the market. So the basic premise behind this, obviously it's vegan, it's cruelty free, which is great. Good enough for me. But they are also available at Sephora, which is great. It's kind of hard to find products on the market that are also easily readily available in stores. So this is another great option that we have if you're looking for a bleach kit and you want to get it in stores. So this is what the bleach kit looks like. It has a powder lightener and then also a cream developer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these two together and I will be right back. All right, so I just finished mixing the contents of the bowl. This is what they look like. Looks like typical <laughs> bleach. The one thing about this bleach kit that I will mention is that it does not come with gloves. So I do actually have some gloves already, but if you are looking into getting this bleach kit, I would recommend having your own gloves, your own mixing bowl, your own brush. I know that the Manic Panic kit does come with everything that you need, but after a while, the use of the plastic in the Manic Panic bleach kits, it can be a little much. For example, I have so many of these little tiny brushes that are from Manic Panic bleach kit. So that is something worth noting, whether or not it makes more sense for you guys to purchase one or the other. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started bleaching my hair fast forward all of this so it looks like I'm done in 30 seconds when in actuality it's gonna take me a lot longer. Also I did want to mention that I haven't bleached my hair in about four months so I planned on bleaching my hair maybe like two months ago but it didn't happen so back then my roots were you know much less grown out. Now they're pretty grown out and I probably should have picked up two bleach kits, but I only picked up one. So we're gonna see how this works out. I might need to go in with a different different bleach kit because I only have one of the Good Die Young um, bleach kits. But we're gonna try to make it work. top of my head. I'm going to leave this on. I think it's probably about 30 minutes. I'm gonna put a plastic hair cap on top of it. This did not come with a plastic hair cap. So if I could leave one critique and one change I would make to the hair kit, it would be to include a plastic cap because I don't always keep these around. I'm trying to eliminate my use of these because it's just not the best for the environment to keep tossing them but when you are bleaching and dyeing your hair I don't know of an alternative so I'm just gonna throw this on my hair and let it sit and I will be back when I wash it all off so yeah I will be back in a half an hour to show you guys a little bit of an update before I wash it all off I also wanted to tell you guys that I actually had plenty of bleach for my roots for my whole head and I actually had like a little bit extra to use to just put over the spots that I wasn't sure 
I got that well. Obviously, I'm doing this by myself and I can't really see the back of my head. Also, I forgot to mention that I am not a hairdresser, so take what I'm doing and what I'm telling you with a grain of salt because I am not a professional. I have just been bleaching and dyeing my own hair for over 10 years now, so I can just tell you my personal experiences. All right, so I am back. It's been about a half an hour and this is what we have. I am debating letting it develop a little bit more. It's very orangey, but it's not gonna really matter because I'm putting hair dye on top of it anyway. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, wash this out, and then I will be back so we can finish the dyeing portion of the video. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> Oh my god. So here is what we are working with currently. Um, I washed out the bleach. So if you have never bleached your hair with a bleach kit before, it usually will say something like this. I'm just going to read it from the box. So it says to shampoo and then rinse thoroughly. And then once dry, then you can add a semi-permanent hair color. So sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But I did just shampoo my hair and I added no conditioner, which was really hard for me to do. But my hair actually doesn't feel that bad. I did like ruin it a few months ago when I did like purple and green, which I freaking hated and I ruined my hair. So I thought that bleaching my hair this time would like totally ruin, ruin my hair, but I didn't experience really much breakage at all while I was rinsing it out. I do have like kind of some gross looking ends, but that's like pretty normal. Um, if you do bleach your hair at home. But yeah, I am so excited. I have been wanting to like go back to this color for months. So this is the Anime Hair Dye by Lime Crime. It's their unicorn hair in the shade Anime. And this is like my all time favorite color. It is the perfect teal turquoise kind of color. And I was mostly using this up until I went dark blue and honestly I really miss this color. I'm just really really stoked to go back to this color. I feel like I haven't really liked my hair in a few months and I feel like this is just gonna make my hair look so much better. I'm gonna be so much more confident and I'm going to actually like my hair. So yeah, let's just get started. Lime Crime is 100% vegan. So it looks like this and it does say that it's full coverage, which is nice. And then it also has a little thingy on top that you can just, well, <laughs> we're very secure with Lime Crime. And you can actually buy this um, hair dye at Ulta, which is great because I know not everyone like wants to buy online. Um, I think that I have had to purchase it online, but through Ulta, which is like better that better for me than buying it from a website because if I'm buying it from Ulta or Sephora, at least I can add other things while I'm shopping. If you are bleaching your hair and you are not planning on putting a semi-permanent hair color on top of this, I would recommend probably bleaching it again or putting toner in it because it is quite yellow and I did leave it on for the full 30 minutes. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up with that. So here we go. Uh, by the way, this um, Lime Crime hair dye, I believe that I purchased this myself, but they have also sent me PR. And then with Good Dye Young, they have sent me PR, but this one I also bought myself. And I'm just gonna go coating my entire hair because it's a very conditioning and my hair definitely needs to be conditioned right now. But also I just really want my hair to be more of a uniform color. It's been kind of like a mixture of colors for the past couple months and I don't really enjoy it. I'm just gonna coat this all over my hair.
so this is what it looks like. I'm going to leave this on for probably a half an hour or an hour. You can leave on semi-permanent hair dyes like this as long as you want because it's more of a color conditioner. It really can't harm your hair. So the longer you leave it in, it is more conditioning. But yeah, I will be back to show you guys the final results of what it looks like. All right, so I am back. Here's what my hair looks like dyed, styled, the whole nine yards. Um, I've honestly, and like obviously I knew what it was gonna turn out like because I've used this color like multiple times before, but I am very happy with the color. Every time I've used it, I'm like stoked on how it looks. But yeah, this is what the color looks like. Um, my hair feels very healthy. Towards the end of my hair, it looks a lot more opaque and bright and up at the top it does look like a little less vibrant and that's be I knew that was going to happen because I just threw on the dye without toning it or anything so that was my bad and honestly like you can't really tell that much of a difference once it starts to fade then I think you'll be able to tell a little bit more but so far like I'm not mad about this color at all I actually adore this color and I'm glad that I finally went back to this color and I'm really happy with it so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing if you're not already give this video a thumbs up and I will leave everything else listed down below for you including the products that I use for my hair and what I'm wearing on my face right now and yeah let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!